Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, F Dash TV. It's your host, F Dash. So, firstly, before we get to this DC Legends game, I wanted to address my lack of videos lately. It's not because I'm abandoning the channel or anything like that. It's just in the industry I work in, this is really the busy time of the year. So, I'm not going to be able to put, but put up as many videos that I would like, but I will definitely try to put up as many as I can. So, this is DC Legends, a brand new game from DC. I'm not going to read this to you. It's, it's like a lot of games. So, if you play Marvel Future Fight or Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes or Marvel Contest of Champions, this game is kind of like all of those mixed together. So, it's a turn-based action RPG. Well, actually, not really action RPG. It's a turn-based RPG. Where in this version you collect superheroes from the DC universe and supervillains, and you fight uh, pretty generic monsters. Now, this did just come out this week, and it's been in closed beta for a really, really long time. I actually heard about this last year, so it's been in beta for, I want to say close to a year, but maybe a little bit off on my dates there. But it's been a while. And I've I've seen some gameplay of this uh, not that long ago, about a month ago. And it was it looked really, really boring. It looked really grindy. And, I mean, if you follow Lockhart's at all, you know how much I hate grinding. But, I you know, I, I, I picked it up, downloaded it just to see what, it, what it's about. Or not really see what it's about. I know what it's about. But to see if it was just really boring because somebody else was playing it. Or if it truly just is really boring. So here is the first mission slash tutorial. First thing we do is to attack an enemy, tap on them. And we are Superman with his absurd super punch. A green pointer means an enemy will take bonus damage from that hero. And you can tell from the top right corner so red beats blue which beats green which beats red so it's just a triangle of doom there so in this case greens are taking extra damage from blue folk who in this case is Zatanna fuck that take bonus damage alright so we can tap and hold on a superpower to view that ability's description so this is Lex here says a cut above damage to single enemy increased damage if Lex is above 50% health no cooldown cool cool so you don't like I know in uh, future fight and galaxy of heroes you actually tap on the ability to attack an enemy but in this game you actually have to physically tap the enemy to attack them at least with your basic so Superman here Heat vision, heavy special damage to single enemy, removes one to three buffs from target to cooldown. And this is just a super punch. Oh, I see. So, depending on which one, which attack you're actually going to use, the outline of it becomes colored or brighter, and then you tap on the enemy to actually do that attack. And we've got some crazy Green Lantern here. Now, you don't get to keep Superman. Of course, you wouldn't get to keep Superman, because he's probably OP as hell in this game. So you do start out the game with some pretty lame-ass heroes. Um, this is like Zatanna, Green Arrow, Lantern. Uh, but you do gradually get some better characters. Superman's probably there at the end. Uh, you do actually get Batman pretty early in the game, and you know, he's Batman. He's awesome. Hey, nobody cares, Lantern. Nobody cares. So here, let's see. Is Zatanna? Oh, she's going to heal. I don't need to heal. What is this now? Oh, yeah, shield. Don't need a shield. Okay. That's Here's the other thing I really hate about this game. Um, hate. That's a strong word. The animations in this game are absurd. So you can't skip them, but you can make them go faster. But you can't skip them. And this is like seeing this every single time is really lame. And I don't want to see it over and over and over. But 
I haven't found a way to change it yet. Zatanna. And so there's different versions of the characters. Like, it's the same Green Lantern, but he might have a different suit on or something like that. I know there's a few Batman in there, a few Wonder Womans. Wonder Womans. You see, so it says Green Lantern and Zatanna can now be, or are now in your hero collection. So let's go to the Watchtower. Press home. You see, here's Legendary Joker. So they all have different abilities as well. We've lost contact with Superman, so that means you can't use him anymore. Bum, bum, bum. You see, like, Phantom Stranger? Are you serious? Who the hell is Phantom Stranger? Like, I mean, I know who he is, but I'm saying, like, who the hell is he? You're forbidden! Yeah, yeah, I don't care. Alright, so it says Essence Gems can be used in the store to summon heroes from the void. Uh, Deathstroke is actually really good in this game, by the way. Okay, okay. Premium pack. Buy for free. And you get... Green Arrow! Of course you do. You got enough hero fragments to unlock Green Arrow. Sure, sure, sure. Alright, so we go back home. Go to Heroes. Tap to unlock. So here, I mean, I can't scroll, but you can see the different heroes here. I'm going to unlock Green, Land, Green Arrow. Next to him is Slade Wilson, or Deathstroke, as some may know him. Then we got Shazam next to him. I'm guessing the one next to Shazam is Wonder Woman. And then next to Wonder Woman, I've got no clue. Actually, that may be Green Lantern John Stewart. And next to Stewart, we have Suicide Squad Deadshot. Top row, next to Zatanna, we've got Doomsday, Batman, Lex, and Black Adam. Bottom row, we have Green Lantern, Superman, Sinestro. That's another version of Deadshot, followed by another version of Arrow, Green Arrow. And then we got Hawk Girl. And there's a bunch of other ones, too, but I can't move the screen right now because I'm in tutorial mode. Hopelessly outmatched by Cosmic Evil. I've got just the arrow for that. So here we are, Oliver Queen, Green Arrow. So let's use him in battle, go back home. Story. Battle. Tap on a team hero's portrait to add them to your team for battle. Okay. So it doesn't so it looks like we can go in four heroes at a time. I don't see any like leader abilities or anything, so I don't do, doesn't look like it matters what order you put them in. Okay, so up here we have an auto button. Auto makes the game go really fast, which is good because you're gonna get really tired of these animations. However, auto does not use abilities. So like this green arrow one here, where he he does light damage to an enemy team, he will never use that if you do auto. Now, he's a, uh, a red, so he's not going to do any bonus damage to any of these reds here. But just, to, for me, just the animations are so slow, you know? Lantern here will do extra damage. What is his second ability? Apply 37% shield. All right. You see, especially when it zooms in and does this, like, cinematic thing, that's just going to get annoying really fast. So yeah, so I already have like a negative connotation with this game. I, I, I don't know. So far, I haven't decided to delete it. I mean, I am only level two. But it may not last long in my collection. And I, I mean, I like DC. But I just don't think, I don't think this game was thought out correctly. And like I said, it was in beta for such a long time. So it looks like it wants me to upgrade Lantern here. So it looks like you need select XP meta agents to apply and make your hero stronger. So it doesn't look like you get XP from completing missions in the traditional sense. More along the lines, you get XP, little XP bubbles or, you know, usables. 
and you have to apply those to your heroes to level them up. And then it looks like you have to do the same thing to their actual abilities. And these are all costing me these little green things, which I'm going to say are essences, but I have no idea. Upgrade gear as well. Go home. Back to story. Now again, I can't do anything different than what they're telling me here because I'm stuck in tutorial mode. So you see here, we're gonna, it looks like we're going to get Batman when we clear this mission. From my understanding, Batman was is not good in story mode, but he is good in the arena. So this game does have an arena as well, and Batman's supposed to be pretty damn amazing in the arena. Spooky. Yeah, we're just going to skip this. Let's do some light damage. So this should hit everybody. Kablamo. Not bad, not bad. We've got two waves here. So here's John Stewart, Green Lantern, as the boss. So again, I... Actually, who's attacking? Arrow, yeah. Arrow doesn't do any damage to anybody here. Lantern will do extra damage to these folk. And they do extra damage to Zatanna. Well, that's not nice. He's got a shield. So we're going to take out his adds first. And then we'll take the boss out. Oh, I'm see, I'm so used to pressing the ability to actually attack. This game is not like that. I mean, I could heal, but I don't really care. Damn it. Keep pressing the ability. Son of a... Yeah, that's going to take a long time to get used to, let me tell you. Alright, finish him off. Victory! Now, I did sign up for like a pre-register, so I should get an extra striker, whatever that means, and it's a Wonder Woman, so just waiting for that. What do I want me to do here? Oh, tap to unlock Batman. Yeah, he's Batman. So, I mean, he's Batman, right? Everybody loves Batman. But, I'm just gonna go home here. Oh, so it looks like I finished the tutorial mode. So now, let's just walk around here. So we have November login bonuses. Make sure you log in frequently to collect them all. Let's go now. Ah, so it looks like this month, if you log in, you get access to Harley Quinn from Suicide Squad. Okay, we did that. All right, close. Uh, here's my striker, Wonder Woman. So thanks for registering and playing DC Legends to help in your fight against evil. Here's 50 Wonder Woman hero fragments. Great Hera, that's enough fragments to get her to a three-star rank. Enjoy your victories with the champion of the Amazons on your team. Here are your rewards. So this is pretty cool. For just pre-registering, I get a three-star hero. Uh, looks like we have a PvP leaderboard reset. We became aware of a technical issue in the Wrath Arena. We have updated the trophies of affected players and fixed the problem. Thank you for your patience. And then we have a social media follow me. Uh, what else can we do here? I guess this is the uh, so arena is locked until you're level ten, and we have special offer. So of course this game is going to want you to buy stuff. So let's go to the shop, see what we can get. So if we look, we have a bunch of currencies here at the top. 
right? So we have two flash thingies here. Speed Force. Use Speed Force to automatically complete battles. You have beaten with three stars. Okay, so that's auto battling. Essence Gems. Spend Essence Gems on premium features and store items. So all these things here cost Essence Gems. Then we have these red ones, which say use Battle Essence to purchase upgrades. This is going to be your energy. And then you have this red energy for your arena. Okay. So we have a basic Suicide Squad, premium Suicide Squad, a premium bundle, premium pack, basic, and then we have some arena packs and then gear ups and level up pack. All right, you can also buy energies and currencies. So what we got here? Of course, spend ninety nine dollars and ninety nine cents and get twenty five thousand yen. And then you can convert your gems to essence. So. Yeah, from what I remember seeing about this game, it's very, very not fun if you're playing free to play, to be honest. It's very grindy. Uh, heroes, it says 3 plus here. So I can upgrade all these heroes. Uh, let me unlock my Wonder Woman. What version of her is this? So you can click on her bio, see, see what, she's, what she's up to. got two missions. So complete all daily missions before the timer runs out and receive extra rewards. Okay, so it looks like I'm faster than a speeding bullet and up, up, and away. The two other ones I have are start 10 campaign battles on any difficulty and then complete all your daily missions. Let's go ahead and collect both of these. Thank you. Level of, oh, damn, I just skipped three. Awesome. And collect here. Aw, oh, damn, level 5. Now, we also have campaign missions, defeat Sinetro's Wrath, and complete Chapter 1. Looks like we'll get some Supermans here, and then achievements will be coming soon. Oh, damn, Essence Collector. Okay. Okay, so I got 1,600 Essence. So harvest the Essence Collector in another 12 minutes. You get 200 per hour. The store is 1600 max. And you use this to empower your heroes, which are collecting from the void. Everything else is pretty much locked down. So, this is, hope you enjoyed uh, watching the basic beginning of DC Legends. Not sure if I'll post more videos of this, just because I'm not sure how far I'm going to play it. This was okay, but we'll see. I, I do still have videos coming up about Ember. Me and Corin still have a ways to go through Ember. And a lot of other videos as well. We're going to have another channel coming up here called Lockhearts. That's where I'll combine with other members of the team. We'll talk about various games and what we're doing this week and give updates, all this good stuff. I'll keep you updated on that. But... Hope you enjoyed watching some DC Legends. Thank you, as always, for watching the videos. If you haven't already, hit that like button and subscribe as well. Thank you guys so much. Have a great day. We'll see you next time. F-TV.